It's an area of low pressure that we're tracking. And what needs to happen is if some of this convection or wet air, these thunderstorms need to wrap back around the northern side of this low, gets a full circulation, and then it will become a tropical storm. Winds at 39 miles per hour. Right now, we have the intrusion of some drier air to the northwest, so we're watching that closely. But as this low continues its move north, it will likely become a tropical storm within the next 24 hours, but still waiting and seeing on that. Tropical storm warnings, though, have been issued for coastal Louisiana, Mississippi, Mississippi and Alabama. This point, I think the greatest dangers are going to be high rip currents. We're also talking about coastal flooding and strong winds along the coast with very heavy rainfall inland. Here's the track right now as it stands. This will likely become a tropical storm on Friday, sometime Friday afternoon, moving inland into Louisiana late Friday night, passing through Mississippi by Saturday morning and then Saturday evening into Sunday morning, moving through central and north Alabama. Rainfall amounts have just been updated. I think the bullseye of heaviest rainfall will be right along coastal Mississippi and Mobile Bay, and then we're going to see a line of wet weather stretching into central Alabama. We could see upwards of three to six inches possible between, between Friday and Sunday. I'll continue tracking what's ahead for next week in your Storm Team 7-Day Forecast.